What's up guys? Okay, here we go. Today's video, we're traveling from Seattle, Washington to Central Oregon. We're gonna stop at the Columbia River and do some shad fishing. The shad are in big time right now, so I'm excited for that. We're gonna show you the Columbia River Gorge for some of the most impressive views that you're ever gonna see in the Pacific Northwest. We're gonna continue on through Central Oregon. We capture some amazing sunsets. We're gonna do fascinating facts and famous people. Let's go. Nico, you are crossing the bridge of the gods. That guy's just got a fish right there. Look at that. They, those people have caught like at least 10 in total by now. Caught so many. Well, we're over here catching nothing. Sucks. That guy right over there is getting the fish. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Wish that was us right now. Sucks to be us. It's hard to see, but yeah. Okay, fish story time. When I was down here about five years ago fishing for these shad, we were all catching a bunch. I was catching a whole bunch. And I hooked into a shad and I was reeling it in. This freaking bald eagle swooped right down about 20 feet in front of me, grabbed my fish and started flying away with it. And he was flew up into the air and he was like, I don't know, 40 or 50 feet up in the air with my fish and I was reeling, I was reeling in a bald eagle. He had my fish in his claws flying away and I was reeling him in, pulling him and everybody's just was like, oh my god. And everybody started like, you know, freaking out. So I fought this bald eagle for five seconds and then he finally let go. <laughs> but yeah. That's my fish story of the day. That happened. What's up, Nico? You having any luck or what? No. No, I know. Yeah, I mean, the guy on that side of us, we saw him catch a couple using the same thing we're using. We got like three people over here on this side of us. We've watched them each catch two or three in the last hour and a half. Uh, we haven't caught nothing. I don't know. It's just not our day. We're using the same thing. And we're getting snagged and losing our gear. Which would be okay if we were catching fish, but... Yeah, I think we're a little bit late to the party. I know they were really in here a week ago, big time, and it's really slowed down now. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, we're pretty disappointed for sure. We uh, kind of took the long way home because we wanted to come here and fish the shatter in. It's supposed to be in really thick. A week ago, I saw a YouTuber catching one after another, so we came here, but it's really slowed down. Uh, we're seeing the people catch a few, but we haven't caught any. We've been here for about an hour and a half. No bites, no fish. Yeah, kind of frustrating. We're having fun though. Yep, um, we're about to leave. But I'll tell you what though, the fish that we are seeing caught, they're using shad darts. Everybody's using shad darts and the chartreuse green is seems to be what's catching them. Every time I see a fish come in, it's a chartreuse green shad dart. And we're using those, but we're just not having any luck. Yeah, one of those babies. Boom. Okay, we're out of here, man. <laughs> I, t I cast my last 10 casts. Still got nothing. Probably more than that. I lost my lure. But I'll tell you what. For those of you who want to come down here and catch some of these shad, come end of May and June, and that's when they're really in here thick, and everybody's catching fish, and it's so much fun. And pro and probably come earlier. Uh, yeah, we only had, we kind of got a late start. And we only had maybe two hours to fish and we got to get going. So we got a, like a three and a half hour drive. So whatever, today's not our day. But the setup, the guy that's catching a lot of fish, probably the guy that I'm seeing catch more fish than anyone here, he's using a pretty decent sized weight. 
I don't know the exact weight, but it's a ball weight. It's about a half inch thick, you know, just a ball weight. And then he's got a good at least six feet of leader from his weight to his shad guard. And he's using a chartreuse shad guard. So at least six feet of leader. He's able to cast it out farther. His, his shad guard's going to be closer to the bottom because of the weight as he's reeling it in. He's catching more fish than anybody. Some guys are just tying on nothing but a shad dart and tossing it out there. They're not doing so good. So that's the way to go. Wow, look at this, you guys. This is amazing. This right here is definitely one of the most amazing views I've ever seen in Washington. It's one of those things where if you're driving by the highway and you blink, you'll miss it. But if you're ready for it and you pull over in this tiny little parking spot, I mean, there's just like a tiny little pullover spot. Man. Look at how high up we are. Yeah, we are way up here. What a beautiful little home down there. I mean, there's a break in the clouds, a little bit of sunlight shining through over there. And I mean, I could like take a picture of this and frame it, put it on my wall. Okay guys, look, if you want to come and check out this spot for yourself, basically from Washington, you're going to head towards the Bonneville Dam, okay? You're going to go all the way to the Columbia River, but don't cross the Columbia River. Take a left when you hit the Columbia River, okay? And when you're driving along, you're going to see this sign. Hi. Hello. If you go on the other side, you can get a better view of the sign. Oh, really? Okay guys, watch for the sign, Cape Horn. That's what you're watching for if you want to come and see this for yourself. Next segment, we're going to do fascinating facts and famous people of Central Oregon. Um, okay, first, I got my little notes here. Did some research for you guys just to share something interesting. I know I think this stuff is interesting, so hopefully you do too. Um, Central Oregon, fascinating facts. What do we have? Did you know that the deepest river canyon in the entire country is actually not the Grand Canyon? It is... Hell's Canyon in Oregon, kind of like South Central Oregon, um, carved out by the Snake River. Um, the Snake River has been carving that thing out for 300 million years. Yeah, so also the deepest lake in the entire country also belongs to Central Oregon. It's Crater Lake. Crater Lake is 2,148 feet deep. Um, it does have fish. It has, they started stocking it in 1888. The local government decided they wanted to stock that lake with fish because they felt like that lake would like needed to be preserved and it was one of the most beautiful lakes in the state. So they started stocking it. And then by 1941, they stopped stocking it because they realized that the fish habitat was maintaining itself just fine and they didn't need to stock it. And so to this day, it has rainbow trout and kokanee trout. Yeah, so sounds good to me because I love fishing, so I definitely want to go there. It looks like one of the best places you could ever go camping. You know, bring the mountain bikes, fishing gear, maybe a kayak. So yeah, I can't wait to go there. Um, also, there's no sales tax in Oregon. If you're ever going to make a major purchase, you live anywhere around the west coast, the northwest, you might want to go to Oregon and buy it there. Save yourself some money. And also... <laughs> In 2004, uh, they started a naked bike ride. Um, about 125 cyclists decided that they were going to get naked, paint up their bodies, and ride around Portland naked to protest America's dependency on foreign oil. They wanted us to go green. And 15 years later, that movement grew to about 10,000 people, and it got so crazy that the government shut it down, so they don't have it anymore. But yeah, that's kind of crazy, right? Like 10,000 naked people riding around on bikes in Portland. So yeah, that happened. And 
What else do we have? Famous people of Central Oregon. Actor Sam Elliott is from Central Oregon. Says he loves it, wants to retire there, live there for the rest of his life. Actor River Phoenix is from Central Oregon. Um, ice skater Tanya Harding. Jim Belushi, who owns a huge pot farm out there. He's like one of those big time cannabis guys. He's in the cannabis business. And Courtney Love. Okay, I think that's it. Fascinating facts and famous people.